everyone. This is Eric from the Country Living Experience. I'm here with you in our front kitchen. This is the only place that serves really well as a uh, temporary greenhouse for us. We're in this rental house as we get ready to build our country home. Um, what I wanted to talk to you today about was a little issue I found with our citrus here that we brought up with us from uh, the south where we just moved from. So right here we've got a mandarin orange tree and over here we've got a Filipino calamansi tree. It's actually a wonderful little uh, Asian lime that's very potent and very delicious. So I noticed that on some of our leaves we had a fluffy white substance. It's very strange. It's almost like dust. So I just blew it off thinking it was dust. It's not dust. It's mealybugs. Uh, this is a common infestation with houseplants and interestingly enough also with citrus. So after quite a bit of research and quite a bit of uh, trial and error I found some fantastic techniques to take care of this mealybug problem uh, on your indoor houseplants, orchids, citrus plants, whatever it may be. Right here we've got a spray bottle full of three things. Water, dish soap, and neem oil from the neem tree. Uh, it is an annoyance uh, to a lot of pests. It is uh, antifungicidal. Um, make sure you use a dish soap that does not have any bleach in it. Uh, the dish soap is only there to act as a surfactant to stick the bugs, as well as the oil, uh, to the plants and suffocate them so they cannot breathe. So this has actually been actually fantastic in keeping these mealy bugs at bay and hopefully uh, after a few more treatments it will begin to um, kill all of them. I, wa I want to show you this fantastic neem oil. We, we get this uh, online. This is just uh, virgin cold pressed neem oil. Uh, it's a health and beauty brand. It's directly from India, imported from India. And it's, it's some fantastic stuff. Also, there's another uh, method. Well, I just want to show you real quick. Just regular dish soap. No bleach. Remember that. Another method here. You can see I've got this small jar. I've got this mixed at uh, one-third rubbing alcohol, two-thirds water, and some probably about a teaspoon of dish soap. You want to mix that up. So this is fantastic for killing all the larva that's on the bottom of the leaf. And we just dab this on. Get this nice and soaking wet here. Squeeze out the excess. Okay. So I want you to go, and this is quite tedious, but it's going to work. Uh, you need to go to every leaf, and the mealybugs will congregate and... Um, lay their larva on the bottom size of the leaf. So you want to look for them and you want to wash. And get that alcohol and dish soap on every single leaf on the plant. Some species of mealybug will go for uh, the roots and they'll be down at the base. I don't believe that that's what this is, but you want to pay careful attention to that as well. So. Simply uh, take some regular rubbing alcohol and the same dish soap as we had before. Wash down all the leaves. Make sure you get all of the larva off. All the dust, all of the mealybugs themselves. You probably go through half a roll of paper towel but to save your citrus plant, that's really important. I want to make sure that you understand that the mealybugs, uh, a good way to spot them is that dusty, white, uh, fluffy substance that is the bugs and what they lay their, their larvae in. 
But I also want you to notice as well, I don't think you can see this, but on the, on the leaves themselves there's a sticky, shiny substance. What that is is a secretion from the larva. It's called the honeydew. And ants are attracted to this. So, unfortunately, if you have mealybugs on your plants, you're probably going to have an ant infestation as well. Now, luckily, these are indoors right now. The ants have not made it to these. I believe I caught it in time. Um, as you can see as well, at this uh, mandarin orange is just about ready for pruning. I didn't want to prune it too soon because of the shock of actually moving it. It was in the ground uh, in the south of Texas. And now we're in the north of Texas and I just wanted to let it alone for a little while, make sure that it's going to be uh, healthy and citrus trees, when you transplant them, their roots can get shocked really, really easily. You have to be very careful with them. These guys are sitting in um, some a fantastic compost mixture that we had at our other home uh, that uh, is really, really rich. So they are both doing very well. Unfortunately, this little guy over here is not doing so well. He had the heavily, or a heavy, heavy mealybug infestation. You can see it even on the branches here. And <laughs> we're trying desperately to get this guy back into shape. Usually you want to separate your uh, citrus plants that have a serious mealybug infestation. Um, I believe we've got to this in time where it's going to be alright. There's I just found a few on the calamansi. This one, probably a quarter of the plant, and this one, about half the plant, was infested. Infested so hard that I'll show you some of the mealybug dust actually dropped off and, and landed on, on the ground, which is uh, pretty amazing stuff to, to look at. It's a pretty fascinating little bug. But hopefully this helps, folks. Hopefully it will help you to uh, take care of your citrus, because citrus is very important for vitamin C. Uh, these guys will be moving to our greenhouse in, in our new home, and uh, they just can't survive up here in north of Texas. They're, they're fine in the south of Texas, but up here, um, they need some indoor love, and I think that we'll get some fantastic yields out of these guys over the years. I'm especially excited about uh, the Filipino calamansi for its potency, uh, and my daughter, I know, is excited about uh, the mandarin orange. She eats those things like candy. All right, guys, appreciate it. If you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you and enjoy country living experience and don't forget to subscribe to our channel all right thank you bye bug down the leaf the block the bug down the leaf it's going to go away this is not the kind of leaf mm -hmm. Really? That's great. Bye. Bye.